So Cursor has just released version 2 and of course everyone is talking about it and I'm also testing this version especially this new feature where we can create multiple agents inside Cursor. So I just created this rag agent in Cursor using Python. The only problem is this is not working. So this is what this rag agent does. So there is an error that I'm facing for literally last couple of hours. I'm just like stuck on this error after uploading documents whenever I try to ask any question from this rag agent it just give me this simple error which is no LLM configured. In fact I have like provided the open API key as well but still I'm having that same error but in this video we'll test cursor on a different project so I have just created this AI thumbnail generator application in Google AI studio using the canvas from Google and this is how this application works I can upload a photo of myself and then I can provide like a reference photo and then I can choose a character pose and expression and also I can add text as well and then based on my input and my provided reference it will create like this kind of image so this application is working as expected in here and I just downloaded the source code and I have just opened this inside cursor and then I want to run this project locally on my computer and then carry on my development right here using cursor so let's just see if cursor can manage to do that let's just see if this new version of cursor can actually help me to develop this project further I want to add like authentication system I want to first of all like run this project locally so because this project is using nano banana so this project is using nano banana as an api key so let's just see how soon cursor will realize that we need a nano banana api key to run this project in fact if you just go to dot env dot local file and in here you can see it already mentions that we need this gemini api key so let's just see let's just ask it to run this project and then we'll see how soon it will realize that we need this api key to run this project you may remember i left cursor like four or five months ago because i switched to augment code and after that i started using kilo code because kilo code is like a completely open source ai agent i just like pay for api key but regularly i use augment code because it's just better at complex projects and in terms of context it's just like mind-blowing so let me just check this new version of cursor and see should i switch back to cursor or not because so far my experience with this new version of cursor has not been that great so let's just see if i can switch back to cursor or not so we are already in our project and let me just give command prompt in here to cursor to run this project you are inside a react project please review it understand and then run this project and also let me know what do you need from me to make this project functional so this is going to be our basic prompt you are inside a react project please review it understand it and then run this project and let me know what you need from me to make this project functional and in terms of ai model we are going to use maybe sonnet 4.5 i think that should be good enough cursor by the way has released composer one this is a new ai model by cursor but we'll come to that later for now we're just going to use sonnet 4.5 all right i'll just press enter and now let's just see what it does and by the way while this agent is working now what you can do you can just like click on this new agent button and now we can just like create a new agent you can just like give it a certain task so both of these agents will work on parallel on the same project so the first thing that it has figured out is i need to provide a gemini api key that's great next thing is it has identified that it needs to install dependencies perfect i'll just press on run and now let's see if it can install all of the dependencies there might be any conflict in the different dependency versions so let's just see that npm install was wrong okay i think all of the dependencies are installed now it is going to run this project npm run dev so let's just run that there is this preview button let me just click on that oh, okay it's not really the preview preview so apparently project is now running on localhost 3000 let me just open it so localhost 3000 and our project is running that's amazing now let's just provide it google AI studio api key so if we just go to our google AI studio get an api key so let's just copy one api key from here and let me just paste that let me just go back to my editor and inside dot env dot local and now let me just run this project i can upload my selfie so this is my photo that i have just provided so now i need to provide the thumbnail title which will be i tested cursor 2.0 that's literally the thumbnail now i can simply just click on i can just like provide an reference image as well but for this test let's just click on generate thumbnail and see if api is being used or not so let's just click on that so okay perfect that's that's amazing okay cool so based on this photo i just created this thumbnail and now it is showing i tested cursor 2.0 that's amazing so now i mean i created this application i'll create a separate video about this in fact i'm going to launch this as well but yeah it worked really well it just did run that project as well 
and you can see it's uh, the project is running now i can just like add further uh, like further changing into this project but yeah it did work in the first try but it did not work in that previous project which was a python project it did not work in there so yeah but it did work for this project now once project is running now we can just like create a new agent and now we can ask it to please review this code and let me know if there are any potential bugs so cursor is going to basically review this code and will let us know if there will be any bugs so now we can just like run this as a separate agent as a parallel agent basically while we can just like continue working on our project so yeah perfect so i can just like press enter and now you can see this agent will work on parallel in here right while you can just like continue working inside this interface so in terms of new updates in this new version so we got new coding model and agent interface so we have already seen agent interface we got multi-agents interface and we can run up to eight agents in parallel on a single prompt that is amazing as well this uses git work trees or remote machines to prevent file conflicts each agent operates in its own isolated copy of your code base yeah so maybe like if it is going to work on an isolated copy of your code base so i think this way you can avoid a lot of conflicts that might happen when both of them when like multiple agents are working on parallel so yeah it will not mess up your code base before merging all of the changings into one code base so yeah also we have got composer the new model the new agentic coding model so composer is a frontier model that is four times faster than similarly intelligent models so apparently this is comparatively faster than cloud 4.5 or cloud 4.0 and also we got browser ga launched in beta and basically this browser can now embed in editor including powerful new tools to select elements and forward dom information to the agent so let's suppose if cursor is testing your project so traditionally i personally use chrome dev tools for this purpose but now we got browser this particular browser that can actually find any issues maybe in your front end or any other issues that you can find similarly we got improved code review so it's now easier to view all changes from agent across multiple files without needing to jump between individual files so code review has also been improved so these were primarily the major changings by cursor the most prominent change was multi-agent we already kind of like had multi-agent inside augment code there are in fact remote agents as well in augment code so i think i'll just like still stay with augment code for now because the reason why i switched from cursor to augment code previously was just like the complexity of projects as soon as your project gets complex cursor just like starts hallucinating so i have like tested in different other projects as well and it has not changed i mean it is still still just like that so i still believe cursor has to make a lot of changing in terms of like improving the context because multi-agents is not going to help that multi-agent means you can now your agents can actually now work parallel but it doesn't mean that it will have a better context in terms of like your complex project or it can resolve bugs easily like in my python project it was like going on for the last couple of hours and then finally just i like gave up i like no i'm not going to spend any more time in solving this bug because it was just like a basic silly bug so yeah i will not switch back to cursor for now let's just see what cursor will launch in the next updates i'll see you next video